Hi Virgo, I'm here to give you insight for the month of January. This is going to be a mid-month reading. So from January 15th to the 31st, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups. So new feelings, emotions as well. So new love coming in for you. Um, I want to say Gemini's. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Gemini or have it in your chart. But new love coming in for you guys. You if it's not new love this is existing love this is feeling full um some of you could be giving back to yourself filling your own cup focus on you um you're not really maybe you for some of you you're not really sharing your cup you're just focused on your needs your emotional needs at this time all right we have the four of cups or four of wands which is beautiful so some of you could be um getting married this is an engagement some of you could be moving in with somebody um taking the relationship to a new level okay some of you could be um kind of sticking to yourself or focus on yourself because maybe you're dealing with i don't know i was hearing other house members maybe you live with more than one person or you have other people living in your house that's for some of you not all of you um, some of you, this is like an energy of protecting yourself. Some of you could be, could be protecting yourself in some type of way. I was hearing like keeping to yourself with the four of wands there. Oh yeah. Five of wands and you keep it to yourself because you don't want no smoke. You don't want the conflict and the drama. Okay. Um, there could be people, I was hearing like oppositions, people who are, confrontational okay you could be this confrontational person all right take it as it resonates but there is an energy of confrontation some um, i was hearing disorganization um different of opinions different personalities so it very well could be people that you're living with that you're in conflict with or people you maybe you work with or just people around you this very well could be you like you have a conflict within you okay even though you are keeping to yourself you know focusing on yourself there's still some uneasiness uh, some type of conflict we have the two of swords here so the two of swords uh, some of you are trying to get on the same accord or same page with somebody okay you're dealing with i was hearing negotiation so you could be negotiating with somebody or trying to come up with the plan but there is like I was hearing bouncing ideas off of each other. So I don't know, like your interests, like you have your interests at hand. Okay. You could be dealing with the um, Libra Gemini Aquarius. All right. So I feel like you're, you have your best interests. Okay. It's like your, your interests, what you're desiring is like number one, like what you're wanting is like, the main focus here with the two of swords and the ace of cups some of you, some of you could be trying to get on the same page with somebody all right the will of fortune so there's some changes that have taken place so you're trying to initiate change okay some of you feel like something needs to change as far as your household um, i was hearing the household occupants like you're desiring some type of change or um this is this can talk about abundance with the will of fortune okay it's jupiter jupiter is the planet of expansion optimism and abundance okay so you could very well be feeling optimistic or you're trying to to stay optimistic but this is strong energy of change here, like a desire for change. And then we have the five of swords. Oh, this is not good. Five of swords energy is nasty. So this is, uh, this is difficult. It's, this is, we have two number fives here. So some major changes taking place. There could be some toxicity surrounding you, you know, within, you could be going on within your household or within you. This five of swords is competition. I'm right. You're wrong. The back and forth, the bullshit. It's crazy. Okay. It's just too much going on. Um, you could be dealing with one person or several people, but this five of swords energy is definitely a strong personality, a strong energy, kind of scary with the five of swords and a five of wands. That's like a scary energy. I was going to say demonic too. All right. It's a low vibrational energy. Um, this is somebody who just likes confrontation, likes to fight. Okay. Uh, Virgo, somebody could see you as that as as this type of person 
okay just somebody who's confrontational doesn't have anything nice to say just talking shit or if that's not you okay it is somebody else that you're that you're you're dealing with okay or you're witnessing somebody be in this low vibration and this is probably why you're like i'm gonna stick to myself i'm gonna keep my interest at, um, at best or my interest first I'm, I'm protecting myself i'm keeping to myself i'm not dealing with this bullshit because i feel like for some of you you may have tried to compromise with this person or try to have a meeting of the minds you know to bring about positive change okay but it just didn't work, okay? Or now you are thinking about, okay, you know, something needs to change. This could be a roommate situation, okay? You're changing the occupants or something like that. That's for some of you. Okay. Um, some of you are standing up for yourself or there's a need for you to stand up for yourself. Okay, let's see here. What else is going on with Virgo? Mid month, mid month, Virgo. Okay, so you got as above, so below manifestation. So you're focusing on manifesting. All right. And it's good. Um, you know, you can't really manifest in chaotic energy. So good for you, Virgo, for taking a step back, keeping to yourself. Okay. Um, so you can manifest. Keep in mind, as above, so below. Okay, what you put out in the universe, you will get back as well. Witching herbs, nourishment. Okay, so you're needing to nourish yourself a bit more, Virgo. Take some time out for yourself. Drink some herbal teas. Work with herbal medicines as well, um, which definitely has magical properties. So... You definitely need to nourish yourself. Also, the home needs nourishment. There is some chaos within your home or what you perceive as your home. It could be your temple, your body. There could be some chaos going on inside of you and you're needing to nourish yourself or nourish, nourish your space. Bring back harmony. The witching hour, favorable circumstances. So you Virgos are doing some work for some of you, some uh, spell work. Um and you're going to receive a favorable outcome here. So I do see that you're putting in the necessary work and you're going to be seeing the results as long as your intentions are good. Of course, like I said, um, as above, so below what you put out in the universe, you shall get back. So keep that in mind. OK, but there's something that you're trying for some of you. You're like literally saging somebody out of your life. OK. Or you are literally changing the energy, the dynamics of your space, you know, like you're literally doing the work, okay, to make this happen. And that's why we're seeing that favorable outcome. And this could have been a call for you to stand up for yourself, maybe stand up to a bully, okay? Maybe a bully is, maybe somebody perceived you as a bully and they're standing up. Take it as it resonates though, but there is definitely a need for harmony. Virgo, Virgo, let's see what else we got for you. Okay, so we got influencers. So Virgo, you are an influencer. Okay, you may have a lot of likes or people that follow you um, online. Um, you're in the spotlight. Just people are watching you. They're, they're you know, really interested in your life and what's going on. Um, you could be an influencer in a way that helps people. Maybe you, for some of you Virgos, you could be a financial advisor or somebody that influences others uh, in, in a in a pretty big way, okay? I was hearing that some of you Virgos are a superstar, okay? Then we got Shadow. Oh my God, the Shadow is coming out in every reading. So Shadow, so there is a Shadow side when it comes to being an, an influencer. So you're opening yourself up to the world for criticism pretty much and it could be pretty tough for you so it's like i was hearing like it's a double-edged sword okay some of you like that you love the attention and everything but you don't like 
what the attention comes with sometimes. It could be negative. Um, but some of you are needing to do some shadow work. You could be dealing with somebody who is in their shadow energy. This definitely looks like somebody who's <laughs> a shadow person, okay? So you definitely could be dealing with somebody in a low vibration, okay? So be mindful of that. Like I said, it could be a call for you to do some shadow work, okay? Some of you are maybe uh, obsessed with the likes, you know, and obsessed with people I don't know liking your pictures or commenting like you have to be seen and you know in order to feel good or in order to feel validated okay that's for some of you and this could be a shadow side okay so be mindful of that I do see that you guys are triggered during this time somebody is pissing you off it very well could be the shadow person who is bringing about negativity um, for others of you you are needing to heal from something Okay, because you're still being triggered by whatever this is. And so you're needing to heal. This is definitely a sign that you have not healed from whatever it is that's triggering you. Okay. Um, you could be very sensitive during this time. So that's why you're feeling triggered. Okay. Your advice going forward, Virgo. Your advice going forward. Okay, your advice going forward is the crown source point attainment okay so change starts with you virgo okay it starts with you um this is neptune so it's the planet of imagination dreams and delusions so keep your dreams alive okay use your imagination to create um, positivity and change in your life as well it's also being mindful of any type of delusions maybe you're not seeing something clear clearly and it's a call for you to see something clearly because we have the eagle right next okay to neptune here the eagle so the eagle flies high the eagle sees the bigger picture of a situation then you have a swan here so the swan glides through the water so it's not allowing your emotions to to drown you or get the best of you okay it's it's gliding through it okay so this is the end of the reading virgo